Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the Apollo 13 spacecraft. As we go along in this video, I hope that you learn something about the Apollo 13 launching and you'll get some answers to questions you may have had. Now let's begin. Some of you are probably wondering what the Apollo 13 is. That is what I'm here to tell you. The Apollo 13 was the seventh crewed mission in the Apollo space program and the third meant to land on the moon. The reason why I say that it was meant to land on the moon is because due to multiple malfunctions during the launch, the craft had to return to Earth before being able to complete the mission. This craft was initially launched on April 11, 1970 and returned back to Earth on April 17 without successfully completing the mission. Before the mission was unable to be completed, the launch seemed to be going very smoothly. In fact, it was said that it looked to be the smoothest flight of NASA's Apollo program at the time. This took a turn at hour 56. At hour 56, the crew, as well as the ground team, noticed an alarming reading with the oxygen tanks and fuel cells. They soon realized that oxygen tank 2 was completely depleted and tank 1 was falling at a steady rate. Soon after they made that realization, they discovered that a current overload in an oxygen tank shortened out the heater switch and unfortunately fused the circuit breaker shut. This resulted in turning the tank into a bomb. The bomb was set off when Swigler, one of the crewmates, had started the stir, causing for immense damage to the craft. Eventually, the crew came to an agreement that with the oxygen and power dropping at an extreme rate, their mission was changed to returning back to Earth safely instead of landing on the moon. Although at this point they had a new mission to get home, 13 minutes after the explosion, a new problem had occurred. Lavelle, another crewmate on this mission, looked to the left-hand window and noticed that their craft was releasing something out into space. It happened to be oxygen escaping quickly from the second and last oxygen tank. This is an image of a lunar model that is mentioned next in the video. Now I'm going to tell you about what the crew had to do in order to have a chance to return back to Earth safely. After the explosion and oxygen link malfunctions occurred, the crew had to move into the lunar module since there was nothing left in their power that they could do to fix it. Since the lunar module is typically used for only two men, they didn't have enough carbon dioxide scrubbing canisters to keep the air breathable for all three men on the journey back to Earth. This caused for the astronauts to have to build a crude adapter to make use of canisters that were initially meant for the command module. Once the adapter was complete, their journey back to Earth began. After several days of being crammed in a small craft, the whole crew returned back to Earth safely. The impact that Apollo 13 made on people's lives and society was that it changed people's perspective on failure. It changed people's view on failure and showed people that despite temporary setbacks, failure can make a large contribution to success in the future. In the end, I hope that you got something out of this video and that you learned something new about Apollo 13. Thank you for watching.